All right, Tim Zhu uh, tells uh, Tim Bradley, I mean, Sean Porter and um, Sean Porter and Leonard Ellaby to show their receipts upon hearing them picking Keith Thurman. Now, at the end of the day, um, Keith Thurman is a PBC fighter from the beginning. He kicked off the PBC, you know, platform and shit. Um, yeah, he kicked off the PBC platform officially. And once again, he kicking off their second run with uh, – He's kicking off their second run with a uh, with, with premier boxing to a third run with uh, Amazon Prime, and Sean Porter has been openly uh, Sean Porter has openly uh, um, he's openly you know picked Keith Thurman, they close or whatever, and Leonard Ellaby is close you know close you know pick Keith Thurman as well. He's a homer. And Tim Zhu said, let's see them betting receipts. Let's see them betting slips. Let's see if y'all, y'all literally, you know, about what y'all say y'all about. And uh uh, you know, but uh I just I just uh honestly feel that uh he right. Too many times in in, in boxing, these guys sway the opinion of other fans based off their fanboyism you know okay i'm pulling for sean porter you know you say words like that you know what i'm saying i'm pulling for sean porter i think sean porter can pull it off i think this is how he can do it you know but then when guys you know guys start you know i think a lot of times certain promotional co uh, companies allow them to do shit like that you know what i'm saying uh, I think certain companies allow them to do things like that, you know, and that's just my opinion on it. Uh, uh, but let's see exactly what he got to say. But thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, subscribe button, is the bell icon button. Uh, the 29 year old Zoo speaking with Spot Sports Australia says he wants to see. The two put their money where their mouth is. Zoo said he would like to see the betting slips of those folks who are betting against him. Tim Zoo says he actually likes the fact that some people are doubting him going into the Thurman fight. He said, beautiful, mate. He said, just being sure, be sure to put your money where your mouth is, Tim Zoo said, in reference to the people picking against him. Absolutely. I want to see their betting slips, but I also think it's great to have all sorts of opinion on this fight. When people have questions, uh, that's how you build a fight. I remember when Floyd Mayweather was fighting Pacquiao, and after however many straight wins, they were still questioning and in uh, questions. And it's because no matter what you achieve, the critics will all, all, always be there. So Leonard Ellaby, Sean Porter, others back in Thurman, I like it, and that's right. And you hear Canelo Alvarez turn around and say, "Well, you know, it's never enough. If I beat him, you know, I see I'm still getting no credit. You can't worry about that." You only can 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 worry about what you can control inside the square circle. And I like Tim Zoo's, you know, um, his demeanor. He ain't never get too high, never get too low. Just had a demeanor where, you know, okay, y'all picking Tim Zoo. I mean, y'all picking Keith Thurman over me. Okay, keep that same energy. Keep that same energy. I mean, let's see betting slips. Because it, it sounds like a lot of y'all just running y'all mouth. That's basically what he's saying. It sounds like a lot of y'all just running y'all mouth. That's exactly what it sounds like he's saying. He like a lot of y'all just 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 talking just to be fucking talking. Let's see what where y'all put some real money up. And what they trying to do is show Keith Thurman support, trying to tell people this is a good fight and this ain't this just ain't no motherfucking tune up. That's what they saying. That's what they saying. Oh, this ain't no tune up. This is a real fight, and it can go either way, and blase this and blase that. I'm telling y'all. That's what they saying. That's exactly how they how they playing it. You know, uh, that's exactly how they playing it. And he just one of those guys that just can't, uh, you know, uh, he one of those guys that you know people don't res don't don't respect his style. You know, 
That's just what it is. Because they don't make fighters like that no more. Just real good fundamentally, you know, pressure fighters take their time. I think a lot of fighters back in the day, a lot of guys wouldn't get credit today. Couldn't believe they could be some of the top fighters today because they didn't have a flashy style. Everybody want a shorter roll. Everybody want to, you know, be Floyd and stuff of that nature. You know. You know. You know, so that, that's crazy. You know, so. But, uh, but, uh, but that's just how I feel. But, uh, nonetheless, uh, but, um, but yeah, that's just how I feel, man. But, you know, nonetheless, uh, But uh, yeah, so you know, don't I, I you know these I hate when these dudes just be talking talking shit, and then they be oh he can win and he can do this and they just showing you know moral support they just trying to push that you know this is a good fight for you know for PBC this ain't a tune up like y'all think it is is worth eighty dollars Keith Thurman can win he can do this but in in their hearts they don't believe that in their hearts they don't they don't believe it. And they be selling this crock of shit to fans, and fans be like, oh, yeah, you can. And then when reality hit and the fans put their money and they talk their shit and then they lose, then they sitting there looking stupid with the IA ass face and my Kevin Hart face, <laughs> my Kevin Hart voice. A lot of times they don't be believing what they be saying. They just, you know, selling the fight. That's all they doing. They just selling the fight. That's all they doing. They just selling the fight or showing moral support for Keith Thurman. Everybody know what this is. Keith Thurman is being brought in as a sacrificial lamb. He ain't fought in over a year. You know what I'm saying? He ain't fought in over a year. So we all know, you know, what the deal is. He being brought in as a sacrificial lamb. You know, and they got to build the fight up some way because since the press conference, um, there ain't been no buzz. I ain't seen no commercials, no nothing. He said, "Keep throwing a live dog in this fight. I'm picking him to win." LB said, "Tim Zoo is a good fighter, but he ain't nothing like that. The guy's not unbeatable. He's not unhittable. I've seen him hit the canvas versus the real Couché, dropped him. And my thing was this: she Tyson Fury hit the floor damn near every fight he fight. He undefeated." Trinidad hit the canvas a bunch. You know, he got up and beat a lot of ass. So they trying to sell you a ham sandwich and try to tell you it's a it's a uh it's this delicate, expensive ass sandwich when it's not. They all know what this is. It's a high price tuna fight, it's a sacrificial lamb type of fight. And Keith Thurman can be like, well, I wasn't in the uh you know, I wasn't the couch potato. I wasn't saying, but you wasn't active. You wasn't fighting. You wasn't training for nothing. You wasn't training for nothing. So how how active are, are you? That's the million dollar question. How active is Keith Thurman? You know, like your whole game is predicated on moving for 12 rounds. Fast twitch muscles, jumping in, using your speed, all that. That's that's what he's known for. And in this fight, you gonna you know you gonna need it. You gonna need it. So we'll see kind of where 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 he physically where he physically is at. Um you know, we we'll see where he physically is at, but we know what this is. This is a crash out, cash out fight. I said again, it's a crash out, cash out fight. You know what I'm saying? And we know what he Keith Thurman bought is being bought here to be sacrificed. Nothing more, nothing less. So 
And I think Sean Porter, they just trying to push, they trying to push this PBC shit. Um this bullshit. And they all know that, you know, this ain't this ain't about to work. You know, we all know this shit ain't about to work. So um but uh but hey, it is what it is. Um thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live and drop video. Financially want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in description. Hit the link tree. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Peace.